And this, the crazy thing about it, some of the um, most beautiful people that you would never think would have roaches. <laughs> they roaches. <laughs> they got roaches. And I, oh. To our channel, I'm AJ. This is Danny with a hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the Kansas. CCTV. Show. I guess today we back with another Moot Bum Burger. And today not only we be doing a Moot Bum, we are doing a collab with Lips, L-L-I-P-S. Lips hit us up and say, hey, hashtag, let's eat some soul food. I said, let's do it then. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing, guys. We got a soul food Moot Bum for you today. He will also have one on his channel. Yeah, most of y'all are familiar with Lips. If you're not, make sure you go on over and subscribe, see what he got, show him some love, tell him hashtag that can't send you. But anyway, y'all, so today for dinner, we're going to be eating some Baked mac and cheese. We got some collard greens all homemade. You know what I'm saying? We also got some fried chicken. Got some crispy fried chicken. Y'all know my speciality. <laughs> and we also got some honey butter cornbread. That's what we're gonna be eating today, y'all. We're gonna get in this food and all these things in just a minute. But first, Danny's gonna hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and after hit that post notification message. Then notified ever. Time we upload and give me our thumbs up, like it. That's right, y'all. Hit that button, hit that bell. Make sure you become a part of the family. Remember, hashtag growth, baby, grow. Hashtag again, do the puzzle. I go of 50,000 subscribers right at the cusp of 42. So we want to say thank y'all for being here. Also, guys, if you can, a lot of you guys ask about recipes. A lot of you guys ask about Danny's makeup. We both have separate channels. One is for cooking, and she does beauty tips and everything like that. The link in the description box below. We're gonna put it. Um, we're gonna put some cards at the top of the screen so y'all can go over there, subscribe, show love. You know what I'm saying? Run those videos up. Turn us up. All right, y'all. Time to pray so we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies. Bless us, so that's fortunate. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna play this up, some macaroni and some greens. And then I'm just bring the chicken in the view and I'm gonna put this off to the side, y'all. So, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, make sure y'all check this out. Y'all know we rock with this, so we, uh, he wanted to do a collab with some soul food. And y'all know I love some soul food. I ain't cooked none in a while. So, I was definitely down. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So boom, that's the mac. Look at that crispy edge with that cheese, <laughs> boy. Y'all better, boy, take a bite. Come on, boy. I'm hungry too. Thank you. You welcome. <laughs> Let me scoop some out. Scoop. Let me scoop some of that out. I like. I'm gonna have to mash mine <laughs> very quick. Real quick, like that, like that, real quick. I kind of like that top of the cheese to kind of get mixed in. <laughs> All right, so. Go ahead and put you a little more on there. Hey. Because I'm going to sit this off to the side and I might not want to lift it up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. All right. All right, y'all. Yeah. Say bye to my cheese. Bye. bye. <laughs> real quick, I'm going to show you. I show y'all the, uh. Y'all see it, boy? <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are some dry greens. Not dry, but they have a lot of juice in them. Uh, uh. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, I know I'm about to tear these greens up. <laughs> I'm about to tear these greens up. Alright, y'all, so. I know I got my fried chicken on deck. Look at him. Quit playing with me. 
and a crispy leg for that ass. Ooh. Yeah. Franks. It's time to go to work, buddy. Go to work. It's time to go to work. Time to go to work. I'm not one of those people, I'm not, I ain't even gonna lie, I like, I done did it all my life because I ain't. But ever since I started doing it, I can't stop. Because <laughs> it's just something about it. Um, when we had did the Smash the Green Challenge a long time ago, tell me, I remember I was like, I ain't never did that. I know some people live by it, but. That's how it's going down today. So, just fair <laughs> Yeah, my bottom came out too. Well, shit. Oh, well.
eat a green filth for about, about six hours. <laughs> so it's good. Want no 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I told y'all about that one before. Well, I bought some fresh greens the last time I made them. And it's got the little tag on it to tell you how to cook them. Talking about cook for 10 minutes and then enjoy. What? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, you might as well eat it out the bag. Just eat it out. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna enjoy it? <laughs> Not me. You cook for 10 minutes, you ain't gonna be enjoying it. <laughs> They're kind of hot. Not only that they're not done. The best part about like southern collard greens is that they take on that flavor. You know what I'm saying? When you cook them down, and that water be getting the greens themselves are kind of like get hot. Why is the church mouth? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do today. We probably gonna talk a little bit, but just so y'all know, it's a collab effort. I know Lips talking. <laughs> yeah, cause he got something to say. So how about we give y'all the eating portion? Now, I know he's gonna eat too. He's gonna eat, but we damn sure gonna eat. <laughs> Clearly. So if you ain't get the, if you ain't get too much of the talking portion, y'all gonna hear y'all go y'all gonna hear him speak. But we gonna definitely satisfy mm -hmm. if y'all want to see some food he ate. Now I know he's gonna eat, but I'm telling you right now, I didn't even know I wanted soul food. We knew we were going to be eating it because that's the thing about collab. But I, I didn't even know I wanted this, wow. this bad today. Let me tell you something right now. It is not disappointing. Mm -mm. And I didn't want to cook. The way I wanted to do it was traditional like Sunday dinner. Mm -hmm. Meat two sides. I didn't want to <laughs> cook a whole bunch of different sides and stuff like that. That was just me. I just want meat two sides. These collards on point. Everything on point. I say this macaroni for last. First thing was, you know, I wasn't too sure about the macaroni today, but it was not. Wow. I don't know, I just... You. And I was oh, making it. Whatever. Child, please. Back to you, Moochie. <laughs> what you just did to me is how we do my grandma. What? Well, she be like... <laughs> because. What do you think? That's how my grandma... That's how my grandma be, uh... <clears throat> she be, uh... Every time she cook something, she be like... I don't know if it's right. It might not taste so and so. Either you, either you be like, oh, girl, like she just trying, you know. She you know she say it is so good. <laughs> Cause it do be good. She knows it's good. Yeah, it might not be right. I couldn't. <laughs> then I don't know if it turned out like I wanted it to. No, okay. <laughs> right. I 
Bye bye. Mm -hmm. I'm blame I'm about done. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Is that a hot in the house mm -hmm. now? This is cornbread, is everything. Y'all know. The little crust on the back. <laughs> Y'all know me. Well, not everybody. First off, if you wanna, if you're from this channel and you've never seen this before, I wanna thank you so much for being here. Yes. Consider subscribing, you know. And even if you don't subscribe, I hope you enjoy the video. But like, for those of y'all who know, y'all been around, <laughs> Y'all know that I love Jiffy. Like, I'm not somebody who wants to play that. I like making homebred corn, homemade cornbread, like, from a, from scratch, because I don't. I'm not even sure if I really love the way typical scratch made <laughs> cornbread. I'm just being a honey. Yeah, I don't think I do, especially when it's cornmeal. Yeah, see, but some people, you know, that's what they grow up on. That's what they love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, much respect to you, because I'm not trying to down something you like. But that's just not me. But... I don't know, man. You know, Jiffy cheap too. Mm-hmm. So this Zada range is giving Jiffy a run for its money. And it's and it's mm -hmm. and it costs more. It's like two dollars and thirty cent a box. You know, Jiffy about seventy cent a box. Yes, honey. <laughs> but I can. But I splurge. <laughs> but when it when it cools down, it's so it's so soft and like mm -hmm. delicious. I like the, not delicious. I like the little crust that be on that back side. I know, <laughs> I, and I didn't like, I didn't make the pan hot with uh, with, oil, with butter or oil first before I put it in there. It got that little crust on its own. <laughs> Just in a traditional non-stick pan. I believe it's getting Jiffy a run for its money. Because it is good. Mm. So, Eddie, did you know that these pest companies are paying people $2,000 to allow a hundred cockroaches to be in their home <laughs> so they can study them? Uh, it's a no for me, dog. I don't think it was. Okay, how much? $2,000, which for me would not be enough like do i have to live with it i ain't even got no questions it just need to be more money for what if the ropes don't go away first of all <laughs> you know the project pay somebody for their time <laughs> well, you know what i'm saying and even then shoot i'm pretty sure there's many people, people out here with whole houses that got roaches Shut up. Just say we need your time. We'll pay for your time. <laughs> Cause I'll be down if I if I take two thousand dollars for you to invest my home with roaches. And I'm just like, I mean, I'm sure they would get them to go away. But can you imagine like you opening your bag yeah, and it's no. ten roaches they meet? Roaches is like, not what you want, okay? <laughs> and a hundred of them. That's a lot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm telling you right now, roaches is not what you want in your house. They just, I mean, if you go to water, get some kick, go to uh, kitchen, get some water in the middle of the night, you turn on your light and you just see a whole bunch of this black movement going in. Shut up, that's not black movement. Because they scattering. Uh-uh. You wake up in the middle of the night smacking the hell out of yourself. And okay, see, no, no. I cannot do that. Okay, that's why I say, once you see, you see one roach in your house, one black hole, we gonna kill that, but we gonna find it. <laughs> It has to die now. It has to be found because once you see that itty bitty <laughs> look like a, a piece of black pepper walking around, you see that uh, newborn roach. Shut. <laughs> Not a newborn roach. Yes. Once you see newborn roach, it's over. And that's it's, what I'm saying. It's gonna be more. It's gonna end up being more yeah. than a hundred when they start hand babies. You be sitting in here. You gonna see newborn roach, roach, then you gonna see a whole bunch more new, and then they gonna be baby roach, then mama roach, daddy roach, they all. I was like, like, if you trying to uh, <coughs> unleash roaches in my house, I need a year's salary. Somebody's salary for the year, 50 It ain't gonna be worth it. What you gonna say, no. man? Because you gonna think you got rid of that. Man, that's too much, man. Mm-mm. In your home, are, like, they ain't even talking about an apartment. Roaches like, are, um, <laughs> They are terrible because the, the, the way they go are hiding and you know, 
the stuff they like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's been videos coming up on my feed of like people like getting bugs taken out of their ears, and I think I have created a phobia by watching these. That's like, one of the most. Um, that's one of the most uh, scary things about having infestations and stuff. <laughs> You're going to sleep. And them jokers crawling in your orifices. That's See, your uh-uh. that's your orifices. You can, uh, that's your nose, your ears. I can't. Your mouth if it's open. <clears throat> your butt. <laughs> AJ, why would it climb in your butt? <laughs> Ew. Why not? If Ooh. I get trapped in there. Yeah. Imagine just on the hill. If this, you got bugs. This your food crack. The roads be like, I'm doing do 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 slip and then slip. Then he can't get out because you know what if he like this like uh, and he keep going back down in there. Well then let me say this. You call him one night and then something. <laughs> let me say this one thing. If you have roaches, there's a possibility that your butt ain't clean, so it probably you'll probably be okay. He'll probably not make it out of there. Ooh. <laughs> No, I'm talking about a butt. You can't be out here with roaches. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> if you got roaches because your neighbor moved in right. and they was dirty and then they sent roaches on your side. <laughs> they and, sent and you have to fight. <laughs> you have to fight with that. I'm so, I apologize to you. But if you have roaches because you, you stop dirty, roaches. I have nothing to say in sympathy except for, no, I have nothing to say in sympathy. Just get clean. Wash yourself, wash your house. Clean in inside. And we go somewhere when I was growing <coughs> up where it might be a roach. You had the strip or whatever bag you had, yes. had to stay in the garage. My dad, yeah. my dad blanked one time because he saw a roach in the kitchen. And <laughs> it was rumored that somebody in the neighborhood had a roach. <laughs> Not this is one of my friends. Either. This is one of my friends. Uh, uh, but it was rumored that they had roaches. It was rumored that his mom's house was to have roaches. And my dad, immediately when he killed that roach, he comes storming back there. And I mean, it sounded like his knees was hitting his chest. And, he was, <laughs> and then he over here, hey, you been on don't you bring them? You go down there, you make sure before you go in the house, you shake out all your clothes. Don't you, don't you take your book bag down there? Don't you go down Because I just could roach. Not your book bag. I'm just Man. like, I ain't even really, I said, I don't, you know, like, I, 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 I just could roach. I don't know that roach. I don't know. I don't want to roach them. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you had been I would have been, been the same way. You know, my grandma, I told you my grandma, which just makes no sense to me. She would not bring paper bags home because I guess when they was growing up, roach was associated with paper bag. Like, I don't, she, you, she better get that paper bag out of her house. When you bring me groceries in, take that bag out. <laughs> get it out of here. We do not do no roach. I don't do them either. And I don't either. Like, this age, man, if I see a roach, I'm just like, I'm just like the people before me. We got to right. find that joke. If he get out of my line of uh, sight, I mean line of sight, we gotta find him because stunk, once, stunk. once they once they multiply on that ass, you in trouble. And your neighbors, if you stay in an apartment, are not gonna be happy with you. No. Yeah, I'm I'm the neighbor. You <laughs> knocking the door? Did you bring me roaches? Because I know I got <laughs> friends that have told me about them um, having neighbors move in and it's like they talking about every time somebody new move in around them they got a bug problem that's just that would piss me off yes and i'm just like bruh stop bringing the roaches now <laughs> ants i don't like ants roaches no, flies nets nets and the nets is something people got to deal with on a regular yes. just because it's around that just time. because you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. you got a garbage disposal and where you at you got to make sure that you pour hot water or bleach or Damn, whatever okay. down the drain, down the drain, just to keep uh, nets from floating mm-hmm. around your house. That's a that's a seasonal pest. Ants too. You leave a drop of sugar out in the summertime. <laughs> them ants, if you in North Carolina for sure, they ready. You in North Carolina, that's just just how it is. I don't know about everywhere else, they but in the summertime, ready. if you leave a drop, you spill a drop of sugar, Kool Aid, syrup, anything, and you don't clean that up, you gonna walk out the room, you gonna come back, and it's gonna be a, a black pile just marching around this. <laughs> Growing up, I think I used to leave sugar laying in the garage and places so I could see them pile up. <laughs> I just wanted to see if they come. Done. My mama would be hot. Tell me, so you just gonna sit there and look at them? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you sitting there, that's wrong. Let me put a little honey down here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, get your 
get your block knocked off. <laughs> but yeah, you know. So mm-hmm. I can't. You ain't investing nothing around right here. I couldn't do it. I mean, two thousand, two thousand. That's not you know, enough. Two thousand dollars don't go nowhere these days. No. I mean. <laughs> That's why I said, least, I need 50K. You got to at least cover a few months rent. 2000 ain't doing that. No. I mean, but I guess it's only be people with houses in here. I yeah, that. that's what I'm saying. Because your landlord would be ready to move y'all. <laughs> I'm going to leave him in there as a party <laughs> gift. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to move out. I'm going to be like, yeah, y'all can come up in here, pay my last month rent. <laughs> I got a free $2,000 and leave y'all with some house guests. Mm-hmm. And I'm out. You ain't gonna have nothing. That be the only way. You better, you better get paid because they ain't gonna give you a deposit. No. <laughs> All them roaches. <laughs> All them roaches in there crawling around. And this, the crazy thing about it, some of the um, most beautiful people that you would never think would have roaches. <laughs> they, <are> roaches. <laughs> they got roaches. Now you see some of the most beautiful people and you would never think that they would be sleeping in the house with uh with these buzz crying. I can imagine like them people on Fear Factor. Yeah. I leave my clothes right there on the show. Just walk out naked. Man, 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 they put them hissing. They, be hissing. they always hissing. They ain't never put a cockroach on Fear Factor that wasn't hissing. That's what they say. Hissing cockroaches. They're African yeah, hissing. Just, African hissing. And for our next challenge, you're going to lay in this tub with a thousand hissing cockroaches. You're gonna be shut down, not gonna be able to move. It's gonna be your own job to keep them out of your mouth. You know what I mean? How am I gonna get them out of my mouth? I would not. I would just, I don't know. How am I supposed to cover my nose? I'm gonna be like, I need some plugs on my nose. They, they be freaking out because, like, if you got on shorts or whatever, you they feel them crawling, crawling up yeah. your pant leg and everything. I ain't got time for no rope. All in, in your back of your shirt and your ears. Mom. Be- so if you had a choice, would you rather lay in the roaches or eat them balls and all that stuff? Like the bull testicles? <laughs> I don't know. See, like, fear factor ain't for me in general. No. I, I've kind of already. Uh, no. I've, I've kind of already come to that conclusion that when I watched fear factor, like, I couldn't do any of this. Like, no. Because, because <clears throat> with the food challenges, I'm going to throw up. I don't throw up like that. <laughs> But I just think about like yeah. we did us we did a smoothie challenge. Oh God! When we first oh, started eating, and I could not drink that. No, you could not. And I just could not do it. I can't imagine how they and we didn't even have. I think we just the nastiest thing we had was like a, sardines, sardines and stuff like that. But they be putting like old dead this been dead <laughs> fermentation. Yeah, I, I just I, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> the baby bird been petrified. <laughs> Right, they put the <laughs> petrified and, bird here. And then the challenges like the, fit, the where you have to lay jumping in stuff. off of stuff. Oh, yeah, those are the, those are always just the last ones. But like even the challenge where you have to face, you have to lay in there with cockroaches or snakes. spiders or snakes stuff like that. That right there would probably just make me panic. Like I think the I would try to get through it, <clears throat> but I wouldn't. And then of course the other stuff is all the height stuff, the fear of heights. Right. And, you know that uh, or you you. Just no. Just no is a no for me. And I think that, like, if I had to choose between the um, snakes and whatever versus the one where they be in that tank with that eel, I believe I'm take the snake. Cause I already that's two fields in one, so I got the fear of getting stung and dying and drowning. The water thing. The water alone would give me anxiety. Being under like that would already give me anxiety. So I'm the, to tell you. the eel over here doing like this around my body, I'm no. I'm trying to told you. Nope, nope, no. Nope. I'll be a big mug, <clears throat> a stone mug. And, and then some of them ones underwater, they be having to get out of that chest. And, then they be and going you through. can't breathe. Like they don't give you no oxygen. They be going through actual pain too. Like yes. these people be getting stung by stuff like the, man. I just don't have time to do all of that and still don't win. Right. So I got tortured for what? Right. Nothing. For a chance. Right. For a chance. That's <clears> all <throat> I'm going to have. I might as well take my chance. This ain't going to open up no new show for me. <clears throat> right. Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> it don't seem worth it. It ain't. In my opinion, unless <laughs> you win, then I don't know. I feel How like much do they be getting? 20k? I don't think it's anything ridiculous. <laughs> Not enough to make me go. 
They were saying, hey, all this stuff. Fear, fear wasn't effective for you. Fear is definitely effective. Yeah. For me. I'm not scared too much, but it's because I don't put myself through these things. Like, I'm not going <laughs> to intentionally act like, you know, I can take anything. I just naturally am not just too fearful in general. But, you know, when you talk about um, <clears throat> messing with uh, wildlife and nature, I don't. Nah, I want no parts. <laughs> no parts at all. But anyway, you good, boo boo? Yes, this was good, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank y'all, thank y'all. It was delicious to me, too. Yeah. I just don't have the capacity for no more. No, honey. I <laughs> had to loose and let that go. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and slide up out of here. Thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Y'all make sure y'all go over the lips. Link is gonna be in the description box. You can also just check the title. It should be linked there. You should be able to click on his name and it'll take you right to his channel. Look at his most recent video, which is today. <clears throat> and just tell him uh, hashtag sent you. Man, show y'all show some love, man, too. We got over there. And um, yeah, if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe to the other channels so y'all remember. Um, like this video and drop a comment down below, you know, so we can talk to you. And um, also share the video. Yeah. Sharing this cancer. Care about us. Care about us. Y'all, we love y'all. Appreciate you for real. We mean it. You got anything for the people? <laughs> Have a good week. Oh yeah. Have a good week. Oh my God. <laughs>
All right, so this is after two hours in the oven. I'm just gonna um, open the foil and I'm gonna let it go another hour and a half on 300 degrees. This is after that hour and a half is up. You see how that good crust is starting to form. The first two hours was locking the juices. The second um, time was to keep it uh, tenderizing as well as forming that crust. I'm gonna use this Condor's brand barbecue sauce that I never used before. Um, it was really good, y'all. Um, I'm just gonna coat the ribs. This is after the um, second round in the oven with them uncovered for uh, that additional hour and a half. Then I just take my grill brush and I just go in and y'all know, just distribute it evenly across the ribs, just like so. Then I'm gonna put it back in the oven um, for 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And that uh, just caramelizes that barbecue sauce. You see, it looks just like candy. All right, so after that, I put it in the oven for uh, three minutes on high, a broil, just two to three minutes, depending on your oven. Watch it, because you don't want it to burn. And then, that's your finished product, y'all. We paired this up with some deviled eggs, some baked beans, and coleslaw. And yeah, hope y'all like what you see and you try it out. See you in the mud bag. It's so impulsive. Like, boom. <laughs> like, oh, Lord. Go. Be, they be worked up. They froze. They can't work. They be, once something goes wrong, it's over. They, they be right, meltdowns. I'm like, why they put these? <laughs> Nothing's worse than that little girl when that thing started falling and she gonna cry. Well, <laughs> look, she had made like this little, I think it was, I'm on sweet tarts or nerds. This little nerd like bridge, it was going over something and she had finished it. She had like two minutes and that bit started <laughs> falling on and she just started crying. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the cannon. All right, crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right, guys, we back today with another mook bomb for y'all and baby. It's so food, son and baby. Tell them what we got. Y'all, we got some glistening barbecue ribs. They were slow cooked. Baby, baby, I want my baby. Uh-uh, my baby. Ribs. <laughs> we got some baked beans, got oh, some coleslaw, oh. got some devil eggs that I can't wait to pop. And then for all of y'all, Oh, honey, I be pumped at this. <laughs> and then, for everybody asked about dessert, y'all. Mm -hmm. We got some banana pudding today. That's AJ's mama's recipe. Uh-huh. It's right here. Yeah. Danielle made it. Yeah. So, uh... I can't wait. That's that, y'all. If you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to our channel. Remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow, y'all. We growing. We growing. We almost at 50K. And when 50K get here, we promise y'all meet and get in a... Oh, meet and get. Uh, uh, meet and greet and a giveaway. <laughs> And so those are on the way. Help is on the way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Share this video out, man. Get us some new people. Join the family, join the crew, the cannon crew, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember, remember, remember also to uh, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop some heat. Fun that ass. Fun ass. Remember also, guys, last but not least, like the video. So important that you like the video if you like the video. So just do that for me, smash that. Also, y'all, if you want to get your coldest, water bottle make sure you check the link in our description box below so you can grab that thing you can grab that thing on up y'all I'm, I'm hungry I'm so hungry I'm so hungry right now these ribs been cooking for about four hours four five hours yeah. so I'm hungry so um yeah let's go ahead and pray Father God in the name of Jesus we ask you to bless this food let it be nourished our bodies and bless us for fortunate all these things we ask in your son Jesus name amen amen, amen. all right y'all so let's just lower everything got Look at ghetto foil up here so y'all can see it. You don't see this. <laughs> so y'all, that's the ribs in case you didn't know. Meat candy, but it's... Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Eee. Not eat. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna let that relax. We gonna fix our plates. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit. 
And uh, yeah, it's Sunday, y'all. So um, <clears throat> yeah, hope y'all having a good Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Start of the week, we in the what? Second? What's the second week of October? Yep. Yeah. So. Coming up on the second. Mm -hmm. It don't even matter, do it. <laughs> what? What fork I use? No, man, it's yours. It's y'all. I'm hungry. Uh -uh. I thought I wasn't gonna be that hungry since I'm. So you know how like you eat a little bit when you cooking and stuff like that, and you don't be hungry. And you be like, man. Thank you. I'm probably gonna get full though, quick because I have been dibbling, dabbling. <laughs> I love a devil. Right. Don't you eat too many of them eggs. I be. Cool. Make me suffer tonight. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. You be alright. Kick you out by accident. I. Accidentally on purpose, kick you. I ain't feeling uh, like you. These were. eggs ain't pretty, but I know for a fact they're good. And that's really all that matters. That's all <laughs> that matters. You hear me? <laughs> all that matters. Y'all, ain't they found a good way to peel an egg? Baby, first eggs. first time in my adulthood that I um that I peeled all them eggs with no issues. First time as a grown person. <laughs> That I did that without issue. I boiled them eggs, and I um, and they peeled so good. Cause usually them eggs be tore to up. Fucked up. When you're making double oh, eggs. Well, let me shut up, cause I'm over here. Man. So let me. I gotta see what I bone here. Mm -hmm. I'ma just. Do you want them cut in pieces or? You can just cut it like this. I'm fine. Oh, I got three at a time. Mm -hmm. Cut this. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna break it. I'm just gonna break it. Fine by me. Thank you. Yep. Y'all, it's my first time using that Condor's barbecue sauce. Mm. It is good. Mm. You know some barbecue sauce be too strong, but mm -hmm. how much Red vinegar? Tang tang. <laughs> how much vinegar you put in? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I always make Bush's baked beans, <laughs> and if you uh, if you've been around on this channel a while, you know that I always put uh, ground beef in our baked beans. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I usually doctor them up to my liking, and uh, I was gonna use two cans of beans tonight, which I just knew we had in the cabinet at home because you know how like you be in your cabinets and you see stuff like I had seen two cans of beans. I was like, I know for sure we got beans in here, and so you know I'm cooking everything. Get ready to cook the beans. <laughs> I opened up a can of beans, first one. Then I go grab the other one. The other one, the label wasn't on it. Which I figured it must have got like wet at some point or something. And I tore it off before I put the camera. Open up the second can of beans just to discover. Twist not beans. <laughs> Twist cream, cream of mushroom. Yeah, let's give it up. Mm. Open up a whole mega can of uh, cream of mushroom. That is going to go to waste because I don't know how to store it. I said this is not beans. <laughs> so I had already browned my beef up. <laughs> I said these beans about to be extra meaty mm -hmm. but. Y'all, we went in Walmart to get this stuff, honey. Them folks in that store were getting on my nerves. And I don't know if it was because my pre-workout hadn't uh, wore off all the way or if people were just being crazy. But they were just standing in the way. Just, it was too much. Them <laughs> fools at Walmart, how you, how you about ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Strikation. Oh, my God. We don't care. Just, and then... <laughs> It was more, I don't know. Maybe I just was like, I had to, I had to, I don't know. Maybe I just had the peace of God today and the mm -hmm. devil wasn't going to disturb me because it was more than, yeah. I had a yeah, lot of, I, was, I had a lot of reason to be frustrated, but I was, I, was, well. I was doing good in the store. We was almost done. And I was, I had, Danielle was about, she was about over it from the start. Mm -hmm. I had, I usually get frustrated, but I was good. 
And I wasn't even trying to be. I was just, I guess, like I said, the peace of the Lord Almighty. Mm -mm. Anyway, we was almost out of the store. And this older lady was walking past Danielle. And then she swiveled around. Now, I'm right beside Danielle, but kind of like behind her because Danielle has a car. Mm -hmm. And she swiveled around right beside Danielle. And Danielle was like, she just kept moving. And I was behind her. Then this lady, like, this, she like speeds up as if to try to push her cart. Like, to push me out the way to be behind Danielle to get around. And I look like, lady, have you lost your mind? Like, I'm like, I said, listen, I'll cuss a grandma out. Because these. You ain't beyond it. No, not in 2022. Because people in general just act crazy and disrespect. Mm -hmm. I know. It's just, I can get out of here. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm The worst of me is showing. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm just all in the way, man. Acting like they don't know what they want to get. Like, you standing in front of mustard. You know what mustard you want. Like, what, what are you doing? I always say it. Because I go to different grocery stores now. We we shop at different grocery stores. Really, based off of need. We prefer to shop at Walmart because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. But if they don't have what we want, or they don't have good quality, whatever, we'll go to... Publix or, you know, Blue Line or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But I always told myself, I, no matter how much money I made, that I would always bargain shop, you know, especially for groceries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Listen. Fuck it. If it I ever become wealthy, when I become wealthy. Get a speech. When I... <laughs> nope. If somebody ain't shopping for me, baby, I would not go... I'm not going to Walmart. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing it. If, so, if somebody gonna have to shop for me in that case, because I ain't doing it. Walmart done stressed me out too many years of my life. Yeah. I, when I worked there, <laughs> which I think that's half the reason why I hate Walmart today, is because I used to work there. Probably. And so, I'm gonna get some of this ribs, but I'm over here buzzing. Huh? I just ate a pizza. It was delicious. Look at that, y'all. Whoa! Mm -mm. Bark. Not bark. Mm. Y'all, my hands ashy. Sorry. At least you know they clean. <laughs> uh -huh. Chili. Oh, oh, shit. No, hey. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Out of all the franchises that I've tried, chili. Come on. I'm, I'm going to get chili to top. They yeah. ribs. Now, don't get it takeout. Wait a damn minute. But, <laughs> me and Danielle was talking right before we filmed. I said, how come people can do good ribs at home? But some of these restaurants be acting like they can't get them right. Mm -hmm. Especially like some barbecue restaurants ribs be tough as nails. I'll be like, what's going on? I'm like, they must be trying to hurry up and get them out or something. Mm. I don't get Because these was not grilled. I sh I'm going to show you. I'm gonna sh I showed y'all at the beginning of the video what I did to them. Because people be asking every time I put out a rib video. And I hadn't did one in a while. So I said, this time I'm definitely going to show y'all exactly what I do. Because it's nothing special really. It's just the time. You've got to take the time. But, I mean, the flavor that's in here tastes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it tastes like, it don't just taste like, you know, just sauce on ribs. Mm -hmm. They're flavored. And this okay. in the oven, bro. I can't stand a tough rib. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Yeah, I got a little topic, but right now, I ain't. <laughs> mm. If there was an item I had to think of, like during Thanksgiving and Christmas that I abuse, it's probably a devil day. <laughs> I'm not as bad as I used to be. Really? Mm-mm. Oh, I know I'm still bad. When I was a kid. Mm-hmm. 
If it was enough, how about make my shit eat? Myself <laughs> shit eat. Hey, Jay. For real. And the good thing is, my, um, our cousin, our cousin made double eggs. And then my aunt used to make some too, so. Mm -hmm. It was enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, so better. Nowadays, I can still eat them, but I can just kind of walk away. Mm -hmm. I used to be about obsessed with them. It's like, because that's not something that for some reason you just didn't have to out the year. Right. Nobody made them. And they know you're hard to make. I feel like that's the only time they was really made, though. <laughs> mm hmm Well, I made. All right. Let me be this little top. All right. So... The topic is, I found someone else's hair in my boyfriend's underwear while doing laundry. What should I do? Girl. All right. <laughs> my boyfriend and I lived together. One night, he was late getting home from work. Said he had a meeting with cabinet person with a cabinet person at Lowe's. <laughs> Shove, AJ. A couple of days later, I was doing laundry. <laughs> and there was a bright red pubic hair in his underwear. <laughs> neither, of, uh, neither of us have red hair. <laughs> I confronted him about it and he denied having been with anyone. Said maybe dog hair or maybe housekeeper's hair since he throws his clothes on the floor. Should I kick him out? My thing is that you gotta be suspect if you like, should I kick him out? Because... Wouldn't you ask, what should I do? <laughs> should I pursue? Should I kick him out? Right, like if you want to some precursor. Which I'm, I'm not gonna say this because I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna say it, but I'm not gonna really just put this like because I know some women, you know, like the one beside me. Uh, but most of the time, <laughs> if you want kicking out, like if you like, should I kick him out? He's either y'all are fresh, y'all haven't been in a relationship long, or this ain't his first offense. So you probably already know. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking now, it's now Danielle is is probably the the one time person. Like you know, she's more of a one time. Baby, do some stupid shit and done. But <laughs> get your shit, get your shit, and get out. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. But, uh, well, you know. I kind of really hell you. It's just whether you trust him or not. Like, if you know, right. obviously, what it sound like. I don't think too many people going to disagree that it don't sound good. <laughs> but, I mean, do you like trust him? Like, he been being sketchy. Do you trust him? Or do you not? Come on, new ice pack. <laughs> All right, this, this, a, this is a new spark ice bud. It's like big. I ain't finna put up with it. Ain't even one of us got red hair. Both of <laughs> us is the black. Um, you know I dye my hair, but dang boy, you was gonna get some, gonna get some brain boy. You could at least took the drawers off. <laughs> you gonna be sneaking about it? Could boy. What's worse is that when she said something about him meeting a cabinet guy at Lowe's. So I'm just like. I feel like that's already suspect because she said she did laundry days later. So I feel like you trying to connect to that like right. he don't normally meet people out in there. That lows mm -hmm. for some pipe work. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Man, I feel like um homegirl. I can't eat another bite of this food. Oop. If I not, if I want some of this banana pudding, I can't oh, eat much yeah. of it. I knew this was gonna fill me up. Playing around, I ate them extra eggs that, that I kind of like. Whenever <laughs> I was cutting them, I messed up. <laughs> I ate them little egg whites. What about the pudding? No, we don't never mm -hmm. have dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Young girl, if you think he's cheating, he's cheating. <laughs> Beyonce said. Uh uh. Nine times out of ten, I know you're lying. Ain't that what she said? And ten, ten times, times out of nine, nine, I know you're trying. 
Is it trying? Mm-hmm. Right. She said, no, 10 times out of 10 times out of nine, she right, pretty Ooh. much. I don't know what the next lyrics was, mm -hmm. but 10 times out of nine, she ain't no food. That's what she said. Well, you had some pubic hair. <laughs> Why'd you say pubic hair? How you know? It might it's be. It said pubic hair? Oh, I thought Why it was just I thought it was just regular hair. Hold on. So I figured he was getting hit. He got some hair so, in the okay. back seat of a Hummer. <clears throat> and Luda uh -uh. make it rain. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about look. Bright red pubic hair. Mm. Girl, how you know? Cause I don't mean to get too graphic. Well, you know underarm white hair. people white people oh, hair. That is true. White people hair on their head, which I'm just assuming she white. I would think. White people hair on their head work, is like fine. Mm -hmm. And most white people's pubic hair is probably coarser. So she was like, right. it's a pube. It could be a mustache Try hair. Batman. He Look, might oh, be. Oh, yeah. He might be a little. Okay. He might have Let's a, try the banana pudding. He might have a, <laughs> he might have a boyfriend. Hey. Hey. I'm not saying it's impossible. People be out here trying to, you know, they be they trying to. Do. Have everything, have everybody and everything. So, point is, hair ain't yours, hair ain't his. Whose hair is it? And the conclusions that you drawing by the story you done gave is. <coughs> and then it's, this ain't the first time he done did something sus. Then it's in his drawers. That's the harder part. Because if it was right. on his shirt or something, you could be like, I don't know. Hair fly around all the time, man. All right, y'all. Right, we gonna eat a little bit of this manner pudding. Mm -hmm. Then we gonna let y'all enjoy y'all fun day. Thank you, uh, thank you, Matt, Ma Oops. thank you, Ma, yeah. for the recipe. I appreciate y'all. This is um, <clears throat> I ain't got no spoon. Yeah, dip it out with that. One. Yeah, we gonna just. It's deep though. Uh, I go get one. I'm get something like a, uh, get a little spatula, it's that little black one. Hi y'all. Banana pudding. This is Mary's banana pudding. <laughs> y'all, it ain't had time to set up mm -hmm. really. It was tighter. So I can't really show y'all like that. Mm -mm. I should have got a spoon. <laughs> should have got a spoon, but whatever. Thank you. Yep. yep. <laughs> I ain't had time to set up in the refrigerator, but you put it right back in there. Y'all know how banana pudding is. It'll set up eventually. But mm -hmm. cookies. It's right. Mm -hmm. She gave the right recipe. Mm -hmm. It tastes like hers. Mm. It's so crazy. You can add stuff like sour cream, and cream cheese, and stuff, and you just you would never know it. Mm -mm. Sour cream go on a damn taco. <laughs> yeah, real, real quick story time. Real quick. <laughs> so, Danielle's mom. Makes this um, <laughs> strawberry pudding. It's really good, man. That's like <laughs> probably the first dessert I had at her mom's whenever uh, we first got together or whatever. <clears throat> it's really good. Anyway, so she always makes it usually whenever that's like her go-to dessert if it ain't, you know, a cake or something like that. So it was like one <laughs> Thanksgiving or Christmas. I cannot remember. Thanksgiving or Christmas. They were down here. They were down here at our last apartment, and her mom came <laughs> in. She said, "I'm gonna make this." I don't even know. It might not even been the holiday yet. She might have just been making it just because they were gonna be oh, here the we weekend, wanted, yeah. and we wanted to. So she, um, so she, anyway, she she goes and she buys the ingredients. Now it has some of the same things that go in here. You know, she uses sour cream and you know uh, <clears throat> other ingredients. You know, strawberries, uh, uh, box of gelatin, and other stuff. Anyway, so. 
She finishes making it. She, I mean, she wipes off the counter, everything. Uh, <laughs> Island looking spotless. Uh, I walk in there, you know, get something to drink or something. And she looks at the counter and she looked. She said, oh my God, AJ, is that your sour cream? It's a whole tub, a 16 ounce container of sour cream. Uh, I said, <laughs> no ma'am. Why would it be right. my sour cream? <laughs> And it's out. <laughs> no. She said, oh my God. She, she left the sour cream out, yeah. And I think she uses most of what's in there. Cause she debating on it. I'm like, I'm sure. She was looking like. I'm like, I'm sure it's fine. Just we gonna roll with it. I, it's gonna be delicious anyway. It's got the cookies. It's got it's got so many delicious things in there. The sour cream just enhances <laughs> what's already there. And in her mind, it ain't right. This woman took that sour. Cream. <laughs> now, granted, this thing is in layers, y'all. It's even more layered than this, cause you know banana pudding can probably get. It'll be coming together. <laughs> really, essentially, you know, banana pudding, it's together. So, mm -hmm. if you make it like this, because I know some people make it like different, like the cooked version or whatever. Mm -hmm. But, uh, she took that pudding out of the refrigerator and uncovered it. <laughs> and did open that sour cream set and went to mixing everything <laughs> I was like, it really didn't need to happen. And I told AJ, if don't ever ask me why I do some of the things <clears throat> I do when I'm in there making stuff, because that is why. Because I have seen her. I said that. I she, said, Miss. Honey, homegirl is shell. <laughs> I said, Miss Joan, it really didn't. It really, I'm pretty sure it would have been good. She said, I don't know. And so, like, then she gonna keep asking us after, is it okay? Yeah, because you know what you did. And to be all honest, it was okay, but I could taste. <laughs> Don't tell her. Sour cream. Is she gonna go off. But she knew that. Yeah. She probably tasted it too. Yeah, that's why she probably did that. <clears throat> I could taste strawberry pudding. Like, the whole, because she doesn't, I don't think she used strawberry pudding mix. She. No, yeah, so. she uses um, the gelatin and then she uses vanilla yeah. pudding. So, like, is I can taste the actual, like, <laughs> strawberry pudding part and I can taste <laughs> the sour cream. cream. <laughs> but it was still, it was still yeah. good, but I was just like, girl. <laughs> you got to know Joan G for yourself. And that is when but. he came and told me, I said, yep, that sounds like mama. That <laughs> sounds like mama. That is a mama thing to do. <laughs> but I think anybody that's like made anything, if you cook or you bake or whatever, stuff like that happens. Mm -hmm. I've done it several times and I turn around and be like, or I go, I might be getting ready to eat. And I'm like, oh my God, I ain't put the so and so in. <laughs> you see it all the time on like Food Network. Mm -hmm. Them baking shows. Yes. <laughs> they be like, oh, Jesus. I forgot to, I gotta throw this out. I forgot to. Well, or oh, they just go with it and put it something in the oven. Not on that kids baking, y'all. AJ do not like watch some children bake. Okay, no. it make him nervous. He also don't like master. Not yeah, master chef junior. He don't like that. Uh, chop junior. He don't like. <laughs> he does not like none of them kids cooking. Hell, kitchen, he young said, guns. Oh yes, it get him anxiety. Because the kids be, they, they'll dump something out in a minute. Like they're so <laughs> impulsive. Like. Boom! <laughs> like, oh lord! Go. Then they be, they be worked up. They froze. They can't work. They be once something goes wrong, it's over. They, they be meltdowns. I'm like, why they put these? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's worse than that little girl when that thing started falling and she gonna cry. <laughs> well, look, she had made like this little. I think it was one sweet tarts or nerds. This little nerd like bridge. It was going over something. And she had finished it. She had like two minutes and that bit started <laughs> falling on and she just started crying. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up. <laughs> I said, Lord. But the reason is like, I don't like to watch it for real is because the adults don't make it. These adults be having breakdowns. <laughs> That stuff be high pressure situation. Ooh, and something go wrong at the last minute. A lot of these kids though, some of these kids be they like do well. they troopers, like they be like, I can't 
got this. Right. But some of them kids would be too much. And then the ones, some even the strongest ones, if they've been in the competition a minute, competition is competition. It gets mm-hmm. to them, but they be they be stressed Ryan. out, and I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Right. They be crying. But yeah, y'all, I am stuck. Mm-hmm. Really. I'm done. So, um, thank y'all for joining this video today. <sighs> We really do appreciate it, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment down below, and share this video out with everybody. Share this can, so care about us, care about us, y'all. We love y'all, we appreciate you. We do. Shout out to the group. Shout out to you. Y'all have a good week. Yes, have a Stay great up. Yes. All right, bye bye. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. May I have some hot sauce? Mm -hmm. I said, may I have some hot sauce? Thank you. I said, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> Here you go. I won't hog it like you say I do. <laughs> Yeah, I apologize if I keep looking up. That's why I monitor is. I'm trying to train myself not to. Stop it. Get some help. This is uh Go Zero! <laughs> Look at my eat. To that you know, you gotta know when to stop. Looks like you've learned it. I always do it. Uh, it's the actual just going in at first. The form. It never flow over the top. <laughs> don't do that. Don't be uh making me out to be that person I ain't. I ain't one of them. Yet. <laughs> Is that Miguel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where he at? Why he tripping? <laughs> is this just me or is Easter late this year? Like later. Same bottle. Bottle is normally like the first Sunday. Give me that. <laughs> Got my first two pieces of fish. I got hiding under here because I've been careless. <laughs> I got the top bread now. <laughs> really, I was distracted. And I meant to be trying to check on something else. I hadn't been frying the fish that long. And I put the tongs right in the pan, start moving around. I was like, <laughs> oh, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> Not it. You gonna focus today now. It says you gonna talk that talk that man. No, I ain't focusing now. You a bastard. Uh-uh. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. About time. Dang, look at that. Look at that drip on it though. Mm. God dang, I'm definitely not the frame. <laughs> my neck. My neck! My back! My neck in my back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Mm -mm. You wanted it. I what? You wanted it. I got my own. That's why I dropped. Mm-hmm. Cause so, I want them. You wanted them. Some people can't never be satisfied with what they got. I always want somebody else. To. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you don't be talking to folk like that. They're just talking. Yes. And you like what? Will you shut up? Why <laughs> and shut your mouth like they did in Bird Box? Don't speak. Yeah, that need to be you. <laughs> Just be quiet. Come. Oh, God. Y'all, man, I'm telling you right now. Be in right here. Mm -hmm. Bro. I don't know, Lane. Ooh. Ah. Did you come from your grandma? <laughs> oh, man, mad because I'm thinking. I don't think I'm talking about you. Oh, man. We was late, honey. We didn't get much of nothing. Them Negroes ate on Thanksgiving, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, they were a little bit late. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't that late, man. <laughs> man, they ate up. Uh, I mean, we always had a lot of food, so we had food. Like, we ate. Man, they were able to eat. But yams gone. Out of here. I'm not saying get no casserole. Potato casserole. Mm -hmm. 
Mine, Sheila, bro. You know, and she made this potato casserole, bro. It's and she's it's simple. She gave me a recipe before I can't even find it, but it's simple. But it's so good, bro. For years I would not eat it. Okay, it had she she garnishes on top of bacon, which that's not the problem. Mm. And then black olives. And I would always, when I was a kid, I always walk past it. I see them olives, I'd be like, Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, <laughs> man. I think I want that. <laughs> Baby, you didn't know what you was missing. One year, my cousin told me, he said, "You don't get no potato casserole." I said, "No, I don't want that." He was like, "Well, you don't know what you missing, bud." I said, "It's like that." He was like, "It's like that." <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm gonna try that potato casserole. <laughs> I looked around like, <laughs> "Oh my god." <laughs> What have I been missing? I didn't know what to do. I want to go sit in the corner. Mm -mm. But yeah, man. There you go, right there. Ooh, wee. Y'all want to talk about an ultimatum a little bit? Maybe not to spoil it for some of y'all that haven't seen it, but if you have not, please go check it out. Yeah. It's quite interesting. I never thought that I could watch something that has me on edge all the time. Dang, it's too much. It's too many awkward, like, it's too many awkward situations. And because it is, we can call it a reality show, right? I mean, with that, you could, or a dating <laughs> show. I don't. It's between a reality dating thing. Anyway, when you watch stuff like that, sometimes you kind of put yourself in that situation. Like, how would you act? And so it's it's bringing out all my awkward. Like, I sit there and watch it like this. Like, <laughs> it's too much. Right, she really do. It's too much for me. I look over to her. She be like, I could not. It's too much. I was like, do you need your rhythm? Yeah, <laughs> something. I don't take really he over here. Um, <laughs> baby. So basically the premises <laughs> of the show is that the premises. Premise. <laughs> Add S's. Black folk. Um is that there is a couple. One of the persons is um giving an ultimatum to the other. Mm -hmm. And basically for three weeks they have to date someone else in the house and live with them while their spouse is with someone else. Hell no. <laughs> Which is already a no for me. It's a no. Which is already stupid. That was stupid before. <laughs> it was dumb. So crazy. Because who you at? What is the point? We might as well go ahead and Them folks starting to get jealous and stuff. I'm like, this is just so dumb. To me, the whole reason why I think it's stupid is because I think it it adds doubt where there's no doubt. Right. The person who was given the ultimatum is already has their reasons for not wanting to be married. So now you, to me, I think you setting it up for it to be worse, and then you try and setting it up also to put doubt in the other person's mind. Right. Which we know that we are humans. Why would you introduce an entity that was never there before? Not something no one A whole was person for somebody to develop some type of emotion for that they didn't even know before. Right. And then sit here and go back and try to figure out whether they want to marry somebody. That's crazy to me. Foolish. I mean, to me, I think you have human whatever mm -hmm. in general. You're going to put somebody, you're going to go live with somebody as technically a single person that you probably are physically attracted to. Mm -hmm. That's just crazy. Why? Right. Why? Some people are made where they are never cheat. They ain't gonna never stray. No matter what, they rather just go ahead, say that piece and end something before they do something like that. Mm -hmm. No matter what. And some people, they might not be fighting. 
but they know what situations to keep themselves out of. Mm-hmm. And then you go and um, put people like that in a situation. You know what I'm saying? Those people, you know, the flesh is weak. <laughs> <laughs> and they willing. Not willing. Mark. Everybody's not the same. No. You got somebody to feel somebody. A man maybe could be married 25 years, never cheated on his wife. But that's not to say that if you ask him if he had the opportunity, like if um, if the opportunity was in in place years ago, would he have done it? Mm-hmm. He might just be like, hey, I just know what to stay away from. I love my wife enough and I put myself in certain situations. I feel like you you have already been together and you gonna somebody gonna get somebody an ultimatum, then you gonna go, that's just crazy. And I guess in my mind, like when they were like I said, it never would work for me because I told AJ if that was us before we got married, because they all in the same vicinity. They all at the same like pool patio thing. Just sit over there talking. I, I be through the bushes like, what the? It's so funny. <laughs> I don't see nothing he said that was that funny. You over here kiki? I know. Okay. We're leaving. We're out of here. <laughs> no, I wasn't working. No. Does your... Be hey, bro, better not put your hands on. <laughs> hey, bro. Because you... Cheating is already bad enough, but for you... To sit there and have to look at somebody, you know, kind of, I guess I can say loving on the, the person that's supposed to be yours. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so no go for me. I'm not. Mm-mm. No ma'am, no ham. But that's why I was just like making me and cringe. Then, and like the worst part of the show sometimes, it's just like some of these people. I'm like, do you really love the person you came here with at no. all? Because it's like the opportunity they get. That it's he's like, in it. No, it's just like that. And then it's just like whenever they're talking about their experience with the other person, to me, I feel like some of those people would just tell it truthfully. I feel like some of those people were like saying stuff as in to take a jab at the person that they came with. Right. I'm but like, you came here with them. Like, <laughs> the show, first of all, it's yes. called The Ultimatum, but it's not just an ultimatum. It's a mess. <laughs> Messy show. I feel like some of the other people going to go home even if they decide to stay together. And everything from the show is going to cause them to question even more than mm-hmm. what they were questioning before. It's always going to be in the back of their mind like what you, you know. For some people, it's like, <laughs> to me, they're just using the show as a license to cheat. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And like that one person, she came there with no, she did not want this man, okay, when she came there. That's you could tell. Yeah. It's a mess. Most definitely tell. Oh, I told Danielle, I said, oh, she a hoe. From the very first interview. He did. I, said, I know I hold on. She won. <laughs> and she already had her eye. She didn't even know what she was getting herself into as far as having to live with somebody else is she already like blah 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 is so sexy i'm like girl wait a damn minute <laughs> <What a> damn <laughs> you're supposed to be getting married that's that's the goal is it not but i was just tripping because before she ever even said any of that she was just doing they were just doing an open interview i'm so and so and i gave her ultimatum and this and that <laughs> the way that her boyfriend Leaned over and kind of kissed her, and the way that she kind of shut there, like body right. language is everything. I don't know why she would just do, but she want more penis, a different kind. She wants to hop on a couple different more. And I went wrong. And then she said that you know she had been with him since she was eighteen, which makes it even worse. Like, and the whole time. See, we haven't finished it, but no. what we have seen, the whole time she was with the guy that she chose to um, stay with for three weeks, she, all the other couples are like talking about their relationships they were in, saying what they were looking for in relationships and why they wanted to get married, why they, you know, they had kids, if they wanted 
kids of the future, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Saying the things that were like wrong in their relationships and what they really wanted and this and that. This hoe did not want to talk about her. Let's talk about her. us in our no. future. <laughs> she, she wanted to talk about them, but she was more concerned with having sex. Yes. Everybody else was like trying. To me, I felt like as hot as it was, mm -hmm. and when you stand like everybody else, I felt like was trying not to do too much. Like they were really trying to stay like non physical mm -hmm. in that way. But that's all she wanted. I said, man, look. You need to leave. And then she got mad. With her. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no more. It's watch you her. Watch her. She a hoe. Not yeah, she a, a hoe. hoe. I, know. <laughs> I know a hoe when I see one. You a crackhead. And I'm just like, who I deal with this? And why did y'all agree? A trip, bro. Mm -hmm. So throw these shows in the dumpster. I go from 90 days to this. Oh. It's crazy, bro. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people was like, I didn't want to go on the show in the beginning with. I did this was your idea. And they out here living life. Man, they, <laughs> they act like they wanted to come. <laughs> like they knew what was gonna happen. They ever came to me with that, oh, okay, you got me Got me fucked up. You uh, uh -uh. Hey, I got your ultimatum. I am selfish. What's wrong with the ultimatum itself? Either you know what I'm saying? If you get to the point where you feel like you got to get somebody an ultimatum, why do you have to go be extra? <laughs> why? Why can't they just comply or not? Is that where you at? That's crazy. <laughs> That's true. And then this one couple that they did not come there together. They just really made me go through because I think it's because I like, I like to see people in love or like you know, enjoying each other. And they were like genuinely enjoying each other. But I'm like, this is so wrong because <laughs> this is not your person. <laughs> you over here and I met this random man and you are just like, you know, I mean, she she looked like she was a 16 year old who had first fell in love. That's what they both look like, yeah. him and her. And I'm like, I like to see it, but this is wrong. Like. <laughs> Yeah, considering the fact that, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, <clears throat> I don't know. The show is crazy. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, none of it makes sense for somebody who is, uh, looking to get married. Right. Because it's I feel show. like, if, right, I yeah. feel like if you were to do this in real life nobody is going to whether you stay with the person you were paired with or not you are not gonna you gonna walk out of this alone because i i don't know how you could then go back home and be like yep i'm ready to get married after i done see mm. you kiss past tissues under the sheets all kinds of <laughs> Right. All kind of got butts in that's, the phone. That's another thing. That's another thing. Butts in the phone. That's another thing. But they gonna take their happy ass home and they gonna turn on TV to watch it. They gonna see stuff they never knew about. That's gonna cause a red flag. That's gonna end it. Cause home, home girl show ain't so she was uh, beating home. She was uh, jacking homeboy off under the sheets. Oh, something gonna pass a tissue in the lab. She did. I washed her hand. Oh my god. <laughs> they were out here meeting folks' parents. I said, throw this show away. Right. Why is it? Why? Let me explain something. To me, I feel like the whole concept of the show is to kind of push people apart. Right. If there's, I. There's no way the same person who. These people didn't want to be in the relationship. <laughs> no. I'm doing what I'm standing my throat. I'm, I'm like, up. <laughs> shut up. If I was to bring some random man home and Tick my mom tock, had met you, you shot. and my mom had met you, she'd be like, where is AJ? What are you doing? Where is AJ loading this damn shot now? Uh-uh. Where is he at? Who is bullet. this man? <laughs> about to put a bullet in all y'all ass. I ain't going to kill you. 
But you ain't gonna damn it. You gonna every time you sit down, you gonna think of me. Cause I'm putting two bullets, pow pow, left cheek, right cheek. <laughs> every time you go to the bathroom, you gonna think of me. Because ooh, ooh, yeah. Something for you to think about. What do you mean something for you me to think about? Yeah, take your ass out here. I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna put a bullet in both your ass cheeks, though. I am not a cheater. <laughs> I'm delivered. Yeah, that's gonna look like two deflated biscuits. Biscuits deflate. <laughs> <laughs> they can. Does nobody <gasps> else? <gasps> hey, hey! Hold that belly. Hold it. Does nobody else uh, suggest any shows or movies that's gonna make me be on edge? Oh. Don't. Do nothing else where I gotta be on edge for six hours. Cause that's what that was me yesterday. I stayed up till one o'clock trying to watch this. It's too much. Uh, stupid ass. Oh. Eat it. Why the hell did you put it down? Help him out. I don't Why want you to eat it. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you about to do. I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing thumbnail. You shoved the ill. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you gotta stand like a Greek god? Like, <laughs> you're to go. Ew! Like this, put your neck and your shoulder like this. Put that yam down. Put it down. Put it down. Spill it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say this one last thing and then we're gonna go. I told AJ that. I wanna be a wizard when I grow up. Shut up. Too much Harry Potter. <coughs> wanna be a wizard she when I grow up. She keeps saying every time somebody, <laughs> says, every time she talks about somebody at work done did something. <laughs> every time somebody make her angry, she talks about I need a wand. I need a wand. Where's my wand? Hey, you put some Patronum. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just zap, which AJ said that they would lock me up and take my wand. Mm -hmm. So I'd be the prisoner. He be in there looking dusty and dirty. <coughs> oh, he's still trying to cast spells on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> <Looking dumb. coughs> I said, I, I said, there's laws everywhere you go. There's rules or something. I, I'd just be chilling. If I was with it, don't nobody mess with me. I ain't gonna mess with you. I'd be sitting here filling my cup. <laughs> uh uh. I'm, chilling, bro. I'm ready to zap a hoe. <laughs> okay, zap, zap. Oh, so full. Yes. Was it good? Delicious. I could have ate them yams alone. They were so good today. Mm -hmm. Woo! I got this thing with yams. Sometimes I used to not mess with them because they be like mushy. And so I that like is that like a there. good, you do. I kind of like, not too but bite, I like them but whole, though. Yeah. I like some of them to break up, but some people, the problem when they cook them is they agitate them too much. That's when they cook what, them longer. And then so I feel like I'm spooning. Yeah, some people, they be that broke does. all the way down. Mm -hmm. See, like, I break mine down, but when they get to a certain point, I flip them intentionally trying to keep pieces whole because I don't want, because the problem is when you keep cooking them anyway, the more the sugar gets in there, eventually, if you keep moving them like that and they break all the way down all you're gonna taste is just sugar mm -hmm. you're yeah. not gonna get the potato i don't like when they like almost soup like they <sighs> nah, that's this much. close to soup so i like yeah. yours because they you know got a little integrity to them oh yeah granny's mm -hmm. is good I, I could, <laughs> at one good point push. i couldn't get mine to get like a sweet mm -hmm. no matter how much sugar i put on the outside it's an art to it because i could not get them to get like the outside would be sweet, but the inside would be so potato mm -hmm. Even if it broke it down, but. I'm you got there. it, boy. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I'm about to go. Because I'm uh, just full. I'm just full. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know. But it's, I'm full. Peace. Oh! 1999. <laughs> right, everybody posing like this in their pictures. All the girls. <laughs> Them lips. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand a duck lip for Shut her. up. Those are my favorites. Oh, uh, uh, posing, 
posing with the peace sign and some Jordan ass jeans from Walmart. Not Jordan, <laughs> baby fit. Yeah, some Jordan ass jeans. And <clears throat> we done found some true religions that uh that goodwill and then they don't fit right they high waters but just because Shut they got up. that just because they got that anyway. you in school flooding what do y'all want what you got on your butt it's <laughs> true religion <laughs> that's what you don't got <laughs> it's truly the water is truly rising Shut up. <laughs> anyway y'all we gonna get up out of here Y'all know when I get full like this, I be struggling. I'm trying to think about what I was gonna say next. <laughs> we about to leave. Thank y'all for joining us today. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Guys, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Remember to share this video. Share it out with anybody. Everybody can share this can. Care about us, care about us. Guys, please, please, please. I'm begging you, please, please. If you haven't already, go over to the... Oh, we got 39,000 in y'all, bro. So... If, if you're under the sound of my voice, uh -uh, church, the I ocean. Ask you, please, I'm mm -hmm. you <laughs> to go and subscribe to our cooking channel. I promise you guys that I'm going to roll recipes out the same way that I roll these videos over here. I already have, I'm racking up videos as we speak. I just don't want to, <clears throat> when you kind of buy my two channels, you want to make sure that you can, you know, I want to release videos without having to be. Record here, record here, record here. So they coming. I just asked y'all to just go on over there. I got the beer recipe. Next video is gonna be a Tuscan um, ravioli soup that I made. It's coming out. So y'all please go over there and subscribe and support us in that way. Because after all, y'all requested this channel. <laughs> so I want y'all to show out. Show up. For me. Show up and show out. All right, uh, church. Um, I was gonna say happy Easter, but it's too early for that. So no, I have nothing. <laughs> the resurrection. Happy Good Friday. Bye bye. And say put that down. That was like a coochie. Now say bye. Ew.
Like if you wake up and we're in a a Marvel world or a DC world, <laughs> are you a villain or a superhero? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag 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 hashtag, hashtag the cannon CCTV. Welcome back to our eating show. Sure. All right, y'all, we back today with another mukbang, and today, baby, tell them what we eating. Y'all, we got soul food Sunday. Y'all, we got some cute steak. We got buttery rolls, collard greens, and then some garlic herb mashed potatoes. Thank you. That's what we got, y'all. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn it on notifications, set them to all, so you be notified each and every time the cannons drop some heat. For that ass. And remember to hit that like button, y'all. Remember hashtag grow, baby, grow. We on the road to 100K. If you, if you, if you are new here, if you this your first time on our channel, thank you for coming. I hope you subscribe, guys. If you already part of the family, welcome back. Y'all know the deal. It's time to go ahead and pray so we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished in our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. So we ain't gonna waste no time. Let's get to it. Uh, got some crew steak. Cube steak. I got extra, extra gravy here on the side for my mashed potatoes. Um, Dixie. Man, you got the, uh, you got spoon stuff over there. Oh. Why are you looking at me? Hey, I was trying to get your plate. You eat off the paper. <laughs> you standing there looking. <laughs> Come on, so I can lunch lady you up. Uh, God <laughs> damn. I'm trying to be good. What you mm, talking about? Mm. They all in there anyway, so you might as well. Because I'm missing me. All right, y'all. Give me a nice cup of the mashed potatoes. Then we're going to sit her off to the cesi And then um, I'm going to move my... You got some collard greens, y'all. I did not make these collard greens. I just uh, doctored them up after I cooked them. All right. Yeah, so... Um, get a couple... Pieces of cube steak off of her. Yeah, they've been sitting for a minute, so the top don't look that great, but they are just as delicious as promised. And they tender and good, I know, y'all. Yeah. I don't like no tough cube steak. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Put a little bit of gravy on there. Gravy deep, boo. Hey, you want some? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. You it's see? Good. <laughs> mm. Y'all, today I will be drinking some. <laughs> what kind of? I, oh, so Wakanda Sprite is supposed to taste like the heart shaped herb. And they say if you drink enough of it, you will gain this drink of the black And how many of those have y'all have you drink? I feel my strength coming so a lot. Mm -mm. Nah, it's just Sprite Zero. <laughs> Oh, hmm. mm -mm. who I want to use? Hmm. I'll slap today. <laughs> oh, I forgot she pulled out. Oh, <laughs> but it's cool. Let's see, y'all. It's been a while since I had Q State. Mm -hmm. I like my grandma Q State. I prefer it. Probably over mine, but you know, hey. Everything. <laughs> mm. Mm. It was good. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Yeah, I just said he ain't getting no Hawaiian rolls because they weren't looking up to Pa. Hey, what? Well, I don't know. 
I ain't nothing up the top. It's gonna be dried out. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I already knew I wasn't going to say much. <laughs> we coming just give us a minute. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. God, I had no... Um, mm -hmm. Up. Mm -mm. You'll be able to take a bite out the cube stick. <clears throat> Are y'all done doing your Christmas shopping? Because us. <laughs> We don't learn. One day. <laughs> it's terrible. Mm -hmm. For real. I ain't even ate none of the greens, Lord. Oh, Lord. I have. Mm. Mm. This is hot, though. Mm -mm. You know how something be so good and you be kind of eager and you got to tell yourself to slow down. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, because right. it be full as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, slow down, girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like being is full. You got to sit there and roll around. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get full of something like this. Mm -hmm. Those are the mashed potatoes. You done for them. You ain't gonna mm. want to do nothing. Mm -mm. Mm. Y'all actually sent me a video the other day that we haven't discussed outside of what we about to do now, but he That's sent me I a video. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, he sent me a young lady and a young man. <laughs> They're sitting at the table. He is recording her. And he is taking her out on a date. And this lady is trying to order two steak. Let me emphasize steak dinners. <laughs> for her kids from the waitress to go. For them to eat. And her reasoning is because. Well, I'm going to put it out there. She's trying to make him pay. Yes, sorry. For two extra steaks. <laughs> yes, for two extra steaks for her kids at home. Because he was late. That was her reasoning. That don't make sense to, sense to me. Also, kids don't belong to him. Do not belong to him. And I think more than the situation, what bothered me the most is that the waitress is saying... Yeah, you should do it. Okay, I'm going to put them in. Oh, girl, this is none of your business. I didn't mind y'all business. Don't worry about me. And if you put them For in. For one. <laughs> and if I was a dude, if you would have put them in, that's on you. Right. I ain't paying for shit. You damn right. I'm <laughs> no, I'm just like... Girl, at what point do you think that's right because he was it late? It was really he all... He late every day. <laughs> it was really all... In, I might as well just take this with me. The whole thing. It was really all in her attitude. Yes. And everything that Girl, she was saying. I was like... I was like, this, this is bothering me. A disgrace. Yes. Because I'm just like... uh, First of all... Okay, so they had a date. I guess he showed up late. Fine. Either you could have left or you could have ate without him or whatever the reason is. You don't have to talk to him. No. So, you proceed to tell this man 
And he went out on a date. And he was like, I'd have to make it up to you, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Telling him that, no, you're going to make it up to me today. You're going to pay for two steaks for my kids. First of all, kids. Why is your kid eating steak? Second of all, <laughs> telling him what you what he going to do mm -hmm. as a parent. First of all, that automatically shows that she using him. Period. That's like, mm -hmm. you're going to pay for two steaks for my kids. Second of all, he's like, the kids with their dad. Like, why would I? Why would he? Right. You know what? I'm just like, if it, at the end of the day, because first of all, I just think she's just trying to just... Just yeah, take whatever yeah. she can out of him just because she feel like she could do that. But she obviously wasn't having it. But then second of all, it's like, um, if it were me, if you would if I showed up later, whatever, that's my bad. That ain't got nothing to do with the situation. My thing is if you wanted me to purchase any type of food for your kids, all you had to do is ask. Do you mind if especially if he's already paying for the meal in general? Right. Do you mind do you mind if I order my kids some Tenders or whatever, take to him. Why gotta be steak dinner? You know what I'm saying? He obviously knows that the kids, he probably would have had a different response. He would say, Do you mind if I do it? So he might say, Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. But you die, oh yeah, you gonna you gonna get these steaks, man. Out of here. And that like I pregnant. said, why is the waitress if that was me, I wouldn't say a thing. I'd be like, sir, because apparently this is the person that's paying for it. Sir, are you going to order these dinners or not? If he said no, guess what I'm going to do? Walk away. Because right. that's none of my business. I would ask her. She over here, yeah, yeah, you was late. Da, da, da. I'm like, girl. I would ask her, are you paying for it? <laughs> are, you, are you paying <laughs> for it? Are you going to pay for this? Okay, you're not going to pay for it girl, anymore. why are you talking? <laughs> because at the end of the day, if she put in steaks and nobody buys it, then that's going to be on her. Right. That's like, you know what I'm saying? But I just thought the whole video was trifling. I'm just like... People can't be out here like this. Right. I can't. I don't get it. But they are apparently. They sick. <laughs> and I saw somebody comment and was like, "Yeah, it's a shame how many it. There can't be too many real men in these comments. This and that. I I don't see what's like. You just you take care of your girl. You take care of her kids. Blah blah. blah. Hell no." Got me fucked up. It's, How it's, long has she even known this man? That, and he is not, uh, he is not, what word am I trying to use? Supposed to be, I want to use a different word, but he is not obligated to take care of your kids. And beyond that, it's all in the way you do things. Right. Like you said, if she had asked. She disrespectful. Mm hmm. I wouldn't even want to see her after that. No. Been the end of it. Right. Ain't no way, boy. Mm mm. On a lighter note, I got a random question for you. Huh. You wake up tomorrow. Are you a villain or a superhero? What? Like if you wake up and we're in a a Marvel world or a DC world. <laughs> Are you a villain or a superhero? I'm a uh, I'm a hero of villainistic uh, tendencies. <laughs> the reason why I thought of that is because I think that's what I'd be too or Homelander. It's one of those. But um, <laughs> that nigga definitely a villain. <laughs> but, um, don't I have villain hair um, but the reason why is because and then I watched Black Adam on HBO yesterday HBO cause I was trying to breathe Baby, I think I'm, I'm getting full a bit. Um, <laughs> I was trying to finish this I didn't pick this roll up fast I can't I was doing what they said eating too damn fast mm -hmm. I had to tell myself to slow I'm so doggone eager yeah, on uh, HBO before he over here talking about me, talking about food. But um, watching Black Adam, and they was talking about Black Adam being, you know, <laughs> they said he won a hero, which he was killing folk. <laughs> but AJ, before they even said this man is not a hero, was like, you know, <laughs> Black Adam's kind of ruthless. <laughs> like it's straight justice right there. He is. He is giving them death as their sentence. Like <laughs> <laughs> he is lighting these niggas up yes. from the beginning. So that's, what made, <laughs> that's what made me ask that because I'm like, I probably would. I'm gonna 
Bye. Get out of here. I'm flying you across the mountains. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you out here doing wrong. You deserve. That's the consequence you get for your wrongdoing. I'm flying you across there. Although that ending where he... Hey, hey, you said you was done, yet you over here nibbling on the corner. Put it I don't down. Wanna waste it. It's sitting there. I eat it later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was flying folk. He was lightning me. Across the mountains. He burned their soul out there, damn body. Just, mm. He turned that one dude into Skeletor in two seconds. Yeah. Like, God, <laughs> damn. Not Skeletor. But yeah, and then I, at the I end. I like that little boy. Uh uh. What little boy? He was like, uh. Uh uh. uh. <laughs> I gotta tell you eat that. Ray Ray. Ooh. Told you you get eager. That's why I said to myself, Danielle, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down, girl. Cause you're gonna be through. You know how much you like mashed potatoes. Mm -mm. And everything, not just because I cooked it, but you everything is good. It might not look as good as it is, but it's good. It's good. It's really good. Oh. So I told myself to slow down. But anyway, <laughs> back to Black Adam. Yeah, I I feel like you know once the story was explained, it made a whole lot more sense. But yeah, I feel like whenever you have um, if you if you if you're gonna be the textbook version of a of a hero, it takes a lot of righteousness and it takes a lot of uh uh self control not to want to um. To hurt oh violently God. those who are you see hurting others, right? But especially because for him that was his people, so you know, imagine this same thing. You're kind of like having a flashback because the same thing happened to you, and so now you're seeing it still happen to right, yeah. your people. So, but yeah. Also, another thing I saw, and then I'm done. And I meant to send it to you earlier it was on TikTok. We were talking about. Um, uh, Amish family, which I'm not going to get too much into religion because we don't talk about that up here. Yeah. But he was talking about how his dad had shot himself in the head. And um, they, you know, were because I guess he was trying to kill himself, trying to transport him to the hospital. The Amish community, they don't use like, yeah. they don't have cars or anything. Yeah. So they had to use taxis. So he was no longer a part of the Amish community. He um, got there before everybody else or whatever. He signed for the doctor to do the brain surgery on him or whatever. So then his family, his mom and everybody starts to finally get there. He's not in his Amish clothes. And she said that she could not look at him or talk to him because, you know, he didn't have the clothes on. Who was it? It's just a random guy on TikTok. No, no. But like, who his was His mom. Who was it to him, the guy that was shot? His dad. So, Okay. His mom couldn't talk to him because he didn't have the clothes on that they normally have. So he goes to the thrift store to go and get something that would be more presentable for her. He brings it back. He shows the shirt. So I guess they can't have buttons all the way down and they can't have collars. The shirt he had had buttons all the way down. had collars, but it was just a white collar shirt and black pants. And he comes back and he was like, he could tell she wasn't happy. Still with what he had on. So he sat across from him and didn't talk to her. But long story short is that he was like for something to have happened so traumatic. This is his dad who he loved. Like she didn't right. want him in the room because of their religion. Right. And I'm just like if that was my daddy I would, not, I would not go anywhere. But my thing is if it were not for him. He wouldn't have got. He wouldn't have been able to call nine one one for the ambulance to come get him. He wouldn't have been able to get to the hospital before everybody else to go ahead and be like, "Yes, do brain surgery on my dad." Like you know, even like it's like because listen, when it comes down to people's religious beliefs and things that they believe, I am a firm believer in letting people believe what they believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. Mm -hmm. And um. But I do think it's sad when something um, as far as physical clothing could allow your, you could be that wrapped in something to where, you know what I'm saying, you are in a, like you said, a traumatic situation. You can't even, like, this you can't is even get death. past, this is clothes now. This is the man who raised him. This is clothes. Like, <laughs> like he didn't, like, I don't, 
Oh my God. Like, it's closed. Like, he didn't come in there half naked from right. a strip joint or whatever. Like, it's. Which I had no clue. <coughs> I had no clue that that is how that religion went. And, you know, that, like AJ said, people are, you can believe what you want to believe. It is totally fine. I just thought it was so crazy. And I think that's what he was trying to. Right. Bring up that something so traumatic. This is the man that raised him. We were all in the house together just because I decided to do something different as far as something as little as clothing. He ain't cuss, he ain't do nothing. It was just clothing that you don't want me in the same room with you. Yeah, you don't even want me here in the but hospital. You, but the doctors are there, everything. And you can tell, like, when something like that happened. Or based off of that story, it's, it just runs deep and she's bitter and she's stubborn. Mm -hmm. Based off of, they probably got history. Mm -hmm. She probably, whenever he decided to do what he wanted to do, she probably tried to disown him right then and told him that she would never do A, B, C, and D. And she trying to stick by it. But right. it's really sad when people be so bitter and hurt. Because to me at this point, I don't even think it's, it's just their religion or, mm -hmm. you know, their customs that's getting in the way of that. I think she just... It sounds like she just has an alt with him. That's right. just him. That's just, you know, whatever he decided to do in the past or whatever, I think it's just bad blood. And I think she wants to be stubborn over mm -hmm. it. That's what it sounds like because you're there in the hospital, you with the doctors. And you then with, he's the one that was able, I mean, cut you off. He was huh. the one that was able to get there quicker before everybody else to be able to, because I'm sure with shooting yourself in the head, you don't have much, you know, you don't have huh. much of a window of what to do. So probably if they would have waited for the rest of the family to get there, probably wouldn't have had time to even do surgery on him without him leaving here. That's crazy. So I'm like, why are you upset at him over clothes and he saved your husband? Like It's, it's really sad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like I said, when it comes down to people's religious beliefs and stuff, that's one thing. But like I said, I don't even think that's the case there. Mm -mm. I really think it probably stemmed from something like that, but I don't think that's the case. Right. I really don't. It just seems like if she didn't want him in the room based off of uh, some clothes and some stuff, mm -hmm. no, nah, that definitely, that was not, that's just her. It's probably some problem. But like, I, I mean, that's why I try not to speak on other people's religious right. beliefs and stuff like that because I get it. Even in Christianity, people believe differently, but I'm just like, let them believe differently. If you're not intentionally um, disrespecting somebody else or harming. People grow up how they grow up, you know what I'm saying? And they believe how they believe. Right. And I feel like if you're not discriminating against somebody or holding somebody back from living their life with this <laughs> and that, then, you know, that's it. You know, that's, right. just, that's just the world that we live in. So, it is what it is. But I really do think it's sad when you let something so, like, your family, <laughs> your fa so right. Your family is your family, and at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. These people is that's who you have until they're gone, and mm -hmm. once they're gone, you can't get them back. So I'm just like, uh, that's your husband or whatever. He's in a traumatic situation. You have your your son in front of you. You know what I'm saying something can happen tomorrow, he, right. and he's not, and he may not be there. And that's so what I'm he was like, saying. Something so painful has happened, and get ready about my clothes. Right. But I mean, it's similar. I mean, this may be like a, a, a not so familiar situation to us, but similar things happen all the time mm -hmm. in, um, in more familiar circumstances like that we're familiar with. Like, uh, like um, people go through stuff with their parents and then, you know, their parents disown them and then they don't want nothing to do with them or, they, you know, this and that. Right. And they find every reason to walk to, uh, at funerals to not, not associate them. with them, not talk to them, this and that. It's just it's really sad. Right. Folks, we done moved away and then they come back home and then you just like, it's really sad. I just don't think that there's anything, unless it's just something that's extremely hateful and cruel, mm -hmm. that uh, my family could do. To me, to make me not want to talk to them, especially something yeah. you're talking about physical clothing, but, or, you know, I understand that. We don't got to get along. We don't got to see each other all the time, but I know that you're my family and I know that you're human. You made a flesh and blood just like I am. Mm -hmm. So, that's, yeah, I think it's crazy. Thank you. <coughs> really, nigga? Hey, Dad. <laughs> Y'all, my cough is clearing up. I ain't been coughing like that today. Sinuses. A lot better. Why would you suck in? Cause I mean, I, I tried to breathe, but uh. I didn't realize that. <laughs> like, I was trying to. I actually was doing like a sinus check. Like, can I breathe over my nose right now? But it was a little bit. Not over my cube steak piece for later.
Girl, I done bit all around. Ugh, well, then never man. <laughs> He's got a nibble on it on uh, uh. three sides. Look like Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this food you know, doesn't weigh heavy on me. Mm -mm. So yeah, we about to go ahead and slide, y'all. If you haven't already, please make sure you sub to this channel, y'all. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below so we know. Yeah, <laughs> just share this video, <laughs> share with everybody because sharing is caring. So care about us. Care about us. We love you. Yeah. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to Doom. God damn. Y'all have a 